It is said that NVIDIA AI chips make money. How much money do you actually make? Last year, domestic companies couldn't even afford the H100 AI chip that they longed for. Lao Huang's external pricing is 35,000 US dollars, converted to nearly 250,000 RMB. It's worth the cost of a GG7 sedan. Do you know how much Lao Huang can earn in extreme circumstances? $32,000. The hardware cost is only $3,000 US dollars. The gross profit margin exceeds 90. What is included in the specific cost of these $3,000? Divided into four parts, core GPU, storage chip, advanced packaging, PCB board and other materials, how much does the core GPU chip cost? According to the data disclosed by TSMC, about $200. How much does advanced packaging cost? Because it involves special processes, about $700. The technical content of PCB boards and other auxiliary materials is not high. All kinds of devices add up to about $500. Be careful, after calculating so much cost, not including storage chips, because this part is the most expensive. How expensive is it? There are six storage chips on an H1 board, the cost of one is about $240 or more, six of them add up to exactly around $1,500 US dollars, that is to say, the cost of storage chips accounts for half of the total cost of an H100. As introduced by Longcoto before, the storage chip of AI chip uses high bandwidth memory HBM. It is also a branch of DRAM memory, generally speaking, there are three types of memory. One is used by computers, that is, memory modules, one type is used for mobile phones, belonging to LPDDR, Chinese name, low power memory. The last one is used for AI chips, that is HBM. Among the three types of chips, the process difficulty of high bandwidth memory HBM is the highest, the most difficult to develop. Last year, Hefei Changsheng in our country was able to produce LPDDR5 fiber optic cables. It has already been used in Xiaomi, Huawei, on domestic brands such as Changying, but there is little external promotion on HBM. The main technical difficulty of this product is that it is quite difficult to manufacture. The process is similar to building a building, similar to stacking multiple DRAM chips vertically. It is also necessary to be able to accurately transmit signal instructions. Everything about current needs to be redesigned, and it needs to be precisely docked together. Previously, the GPU and memory in AI chips were individually packaged. It transmits signals through circuits between PCB boards, but doing so will encounter issues with memory walls, the so-called memory wall. Simply put, there is not enough memory available. In the past decade or so, everyone is putting in a lot of effort to continuously improve their GPU, CPU performance, the ability to process data is becoming stronger and stronger, but the matching memory performance did not improve. What are the consequences of this? Like a flower production factory, you have a huge factory line. Having the ability to produce a large amount of flour in a short period of time, but encountered trouble. The shortage of raw materials. There is too little wheat stored in the barn, and the barn is far from the factory, vehicles need to transport back and forth. Transportation alone doesn't count. The road between the two places is still narrow and bumpy. So, what to do if you want to increase flour production? The answer is to expand the storage capacity of the barn and build the barn right next to the factory. The design of high bandwidth memory HBM is based on the previous idea. How to do it? Firstly, expand memory. Stack several DRAM chips together. Secondly, these bare chips are packaged together with GPU bare chips, becoming a big chip. Data permeability, the processing efficiency has been greatly improved now that we can achieve such precise packaging on public information.
TSMC does the best, a process called Kawos was used, splicing HBM and GPU bare chips together at the wafer level, finally, achieve fast communication between the two. Actually, Samsung, Intel also has a similar process, but the interconnection effect between bare films is not very good, none of them have the mature technology of TSMC. Excellent! HBM has been developed for five generations so far. They are HBM, HBM2, HBM2E, HBM3, HBM3E. Last August, NVIDIA's GH200 has stronger performance than the H100. We are using the fifth generation HBM3E, provided by SK Hynix from South Korea. Someone asked, What about Samsung? can't we provide it? Yes. Last year, these two companies were unable to mass-produce the fifth-generation HBM, and HBM's global market is dominated by SK Hynix, which holds a 50% share. Why is this Korean company so powerful? The reason is also simple. The research and development started relatively early, this matter is quite dramatic to say. How to say it? As we all know, in the field of graphics cards, AMD is the second son of a millennium, in order to surpass NVIDIA, we put in a lot of effort in technology. In 2009, AMD realizes the limitations of regular memory, the idea of stacking memory arose, at that time, we found SK Hynix, a memory manufacturer from South Korea. Both parties collaborate on research and development, after nearly four years of research, two companies have launched the first generation of high-bandwidth memory HBM. At that time, AMD's idea was to use it on their own gaming graphics card, improve performance, suppress a wave of NVIDIA. I didn't expect the cost of this thing to be surprisingly high. It simply cannot be popularized on consumer-grade graphics cards. It's like using an ox knife to kill a chicken, there is not much cost-effectiveness, the East is not bright, and the West is bright. In 2016, AlphaGo defeated top professional chess player Li Shishi. Deep learning is booming, this is an artificial intelligence algorithm. Through massive data training, let computers think like humans, judgment, decision-making, the more data is trained, the higher the accuracy of decision-making, this means that computing chips need to withstand a huge amount of data transparency, so HBM came into play. In 2017, AlphaGo once again competes with Chinese chess player Qiji. This time AlphaGo used Google's TPU, a processor specifically designed for deep learning. This time, high-bandwidth memory HBM was also used, Meanwhile, NVIDIA has launched a heavyweight PE version, adopting the second-generation high-bandwidth memory HBM2. The reason why Lao Huang did this, I also saw the huge data throughput of HBM. I believe it can bring earth-shattering changes to artificial intelligence computing, anticipating the enormous prospects of HBM. As a memory giant, Samsung naturally won't miss the opportunity, we have also invested in research and development, Samsung's movements are very fast. In 2016, HBM2 was launched. NVIDIA's AI chip P100 uses Samsung's products, in contrast, Miguang's movements are relatively slow. Started researching HBM in 2018. HBM2 was only mass-produced in 2020. However, as a pioneer in HBM technology, SK Hynix's progress has always been steady and steady, leading the way. The third generation HBM 2E was released in 2020. In 2021, the fourth generation HBM 3 was successfully developed, and it will be mass produced in 2022. It is natural to choose SK Hynix's fourth generation HBM3 for the high bandwidth memory paired with NVIDIA H100. Looking back, AMD's fate is indeed tumultuous. HBM technology was first proposed 
but because attempts in the graphics card field were unsuccessful, it almost abandoned this technology. Finally, NVIDIA took advantage of the AI era and found a big bargain, picked the fruits of someone else's victory. NVIDIA can be said to have, with the support of HBM technology, driving AI chip a 100, the sales of H100 have taken off, greatly consolidated my position in the field of AI computing. After discussing so much about the situation abroad, what is the level of high bandwidth memory HBM in China? Do you have the ability to localize? Let's just put it bluntly, in China, with NVIDIA's AI chips, especially Huawei is the only company that can benchmark training data. Let's start with Huawei's 2019 release of the Ascend 910. From publicly available images, it can be seen that, this chip uses HBM and Core NPO packaging together, become a whole big chip. 910 was released in 2019, at that time, TSMC was still able to chip Huawei. It is possible to use Kao's packaging technology, specifically, regarding HBM itself, at that time. The HBM2 had the best performance, SK Hynix can also provide. Afterwards, TSMC cannot stream chips to Huawei, SK Hynix is also unable to continue supplying HBM. Meanwhile, for a long time in China, Almost no news of the progress of the Ascent can be heard, the official website even removed relevant product introductions. It can be considered a state of silence. Among them, the domestic substitution of HBM is the top priority for technological breakthroughs. Longkoto has been conducting industry research for many years, fully aware of the difficulties involved, Nowadays, the United States is crazily suppressing China's semiconductor industry. From raw materials, starting from multiple perspectives such as semiconductor equipment, the situation in China is not easy, but it's not just about sitting idly by, at the end of the day, technology is all done by people, the so-called blockade cannot be blocked, take the manufacturing of HBM as an example. The whole process doesn't seem simple. It is indeed complex to do, but it's not that we have nowhere to start. First, let's talk about how to handle the particles. This is not a regular DRAM particle, but rather particles specifically used for HBM. This is considered a matter for memory enterprises. There are SK Hynix overseas, Samsung, Magnesia Light, etc. We have Hefei Changxing in China. Fuji and Jinhua et al., as introduced in the previous video of Longkoto, in the field of memory, domestic enterprises have basically caught up. The gap with the advanced level abroad is only about three years, mainly due to late research and development time. There are no technical barriers or thresholds. Speaking of memory, you can follow a Shenzhen company called Shen Weeksu, the enterprise was established in 2002. It is specialized in the design and production of storage chips. The most famous feature of this company before was that its chief strategic officer was held by Japanese businessman Nobuo Sakamoto. This Japanese friend was once the president of Japanese semiconductor storage chip giant Urbita, with over 30 years of experience in the DRAM field, for over a decade. We have been fighting against the United States, the experience of South Korea's joint suppression and killing, faced with the surrender of the Japanese industry and politics. After retiring, the old man became a shining star in China's startup industry. It's hard to say how decisive it can be, and unfortunately, Nobuo Sakamoto passed away in February this year, but in recent years, it has definitely been of great help to Shen Weeksu. What about this matter? Mainly to illustrate that the American industrial chain seems to have a clear division of labor arrangement. But there have always been challengers. There has always been a group of industry professionals pursuing an independent and independent development path. I talked about how to make DRAM particles. Another technical point is the packaging process. TSMC is proud of its packaging technology, 
Over the years, it has also been touted as a unique weapon, very impressive, but objectively speaking, the packaging process of HBM is not only done by TSMC, Samsung from South Korea also has it. For NVIDIA, in the past, choosing to bind with TSMC in the American industry chain, it is its consistent strategy, TSMC is relatively a specialized OEM manufacturing enterprise. Stable shipment capability, the price can also be kept low enough, it can help NVIDIA maximize its commercial benefits. However, the packaging process of memory particles, Samsung in South Korea also has it. Of course, the process is different. The final effect, the yield may also be different, but it cannot be said that only TSMC is capable of packaging this job. Other homes are not suitable. Similarly, it cannot be said that only TSMC, Samsung can do it, Chinese companies cannot do it. Recently, there is news that Huawei is leading the HBM project, the design comes from Huawei, the film is from Jinhua, Fujian, Shen Weixu is responsible for sealing and testing. Well, hand it over to Shen Jin, Weiking Electric, Microelectronics, however, this news is actually just a look, this is a habitual guess by foreign media, starting from the second half of last year, there have been rumors about Huawei, Ascension, 9110, B, various news about 2020, anyway. There are different opinions, seen shrouded in mist, the United States is also curious, we also sent reporters to China to investigate. I wrote a bunch of articles full of impressions, who is the enterprise that imitates the domestic HBM packaging process, in order to find the answer to the failed blockade. Take great care, during this period, Huawei has been announcing to the public, can provide domestic alternative AI chips, it can provide an autonomous and controllable computing power base, Ifli Tech, Baidu, 3, 6, and others have all purchased Huawei's AI chips, establish a computing power center. In this case, can you also understand the mood of the United States?